All right, this is another uh, Hanayama Puzzle Puzzle. This is the cast A and A, and I guess you can see why it's called A and A, because you have a silver A and a gold A linked with each other. It's only level two out of six, so I'm expecting this to be fairly easy, uh, but you never know with Hanayama, so let's see. All right, so as always with Hanayama puzzles, it looks great and it feels lovely. It's very solid, heavy feeling. So this one, maybe this is slightly unusual for some of these puzzles, but there's a very definite sort of front and back feeling to this. So this feels like the front to me with the uh, curve going down that way. And then this is the back with the Hanayama and the ANA, &A, the puzzle name on there. As always, of course, it's very uh, susceptible to fingerprints <laughs> and so forth. Let's start a timer and see what it's like to solve this. So you can already tell just from holding it that it's going to go that way. So let's just be really clear what we have. We have uh, kind of an A shape. Is that an A? Or is that more like an A? I don't know. Neither of them feels quite like an A to me. That's obviously like a G that way up. Um, and we have a gap in there and a gap in here. So there's a sort of symmetry, but it's the symmetry is broken by the uh, fact that this is a flat side and this one's um, uh, sort of curves down. Okay, it feels like this will just come apart from here. Is that not the case? No, I see. Right, so the reason it's not just straightforwardly coming apart straight away um, is the shape of these two gaps is such that they don't line up nicely down here. So the idea is going to be that we have to find a way to get those turned around, one of them at least turned around, so that the gaps line up with each other. Let's sneak through there, no, not quite. Ooh, is this going to be part of it, I wonder? No, I think that's a dead end, unfortunately. So this stage it feels like it's going to be really straightforward and it's just a question of figuring out a way of moving the pieces past each other. Ooh, look at that. Is that it? That's the solution to get it apart? Let's just see. Yeah, look at that. They just came apart that easily. Okay, and so to get them back together again, it's just that. Okay, let's see if I can remember what I'm doing here. So, get them back together and putting the silver on top of the gold, with the silver the G way up and the gold the A way up. And I'm just passing that part of the letter through the gap there. Okay, now can I get them back into their original arrangement? arrangement yeah would be like this there we go there we are okay so yeah that really is an easy puzzle it took me less than three minutes um, to solve it let's just see if I can repeat that shall we since that was so quick <laughs> all right so I've been fiddling with it for a few minutes now and I can pretty reliably solve it so I'm going to show you how so I guess there's different ways you can hold it in the beginning but my way is to hold it with silver on the left and gold on the right and with the kind of flat faces, plain faces without writing on, on the top. And then we twist the gold piece this way so that it comes upwards nearest you. It's, it's actually amazing to me how simple the solution to this is, as you'll see. Okay, so we twist this piece towards us. And then what we want to do is we want to pass this back through the uh, hole in here. So we're going to turn that round that way. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to push, you can see there's a few marks on there now where I've moved it. We're going to slide this through this gap here. So you can see that from that angle there like that. And they come apart. And there they are, the two pieces. 
and then to put them back together again, we're going to hold them like this. So we're going to have silver on the left like this, and we're going to have gold on the right with Hanayama on the right. We're going to put it like this with the um, sort of tail of the A lined up against the hole in this A. And we're going to pass this piece through there like that. And then having come in, we just have to rotate it round like this. And then we're just going to um, twist this back that way. And there we have it solved. So yeah, it's actually an incredibly simple path. It doesn't mean it's necessarily easy to find. Um, although I solved it in less than three minutes the first time, it took me more like 10 minutes to find the solution the second time. Um, so I got slightly lucky the first time, but that's what happens when the solution is actually quite a short distance um, from the start state. Solving the A and A puzzle reminded me a little bit of solving my favorite Hanayama puzzle, which is the cast cross puzzle. Um, but the cross is definitely a better puzzle. Uh, first of all, something really satisfying about the way it holds itself together, whereas this one sort of flops around a bit. Um, secondly, this one's even more solid than this one, but most of all, this one's a pretty tricky solution, whereas this one's actually almost trivial. Very, very simple solution. Anyway, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed watching me solve the uh, Hanayama puzzle cast A and A puzzle. Uh, it's always a bit of a mouthful saying the names of these hustle puzzles. Uh, if you have enjoyed it uh, and want to see more of these, please check this out here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.